Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be covering the WEN rotary tool with flex shaft, model number 23114. I'll be showing you the accessories included with the kit, how to attach them and how they can be used. The tool comes in a zippered light carrying case. I much prefer this case to the other model. At the top of the tool is the variable speed dial. Below it is the on off switch and it comes with a hook so that you can hang it. You get the WEN rotary tool which has a 1.4 amped variable speed motor. This particular model comes with three colors, a drilling routing guide, a spark and debris deflection shield and an LED light attachment. The included 3 foot length flex shaft is great for jobs requiring more intricate and detailed work. The wrench and the allen key supplied are for attaching the accessories to the tool. The manual contains safety tips, a list of the accessories and installation guide so be sure to read it. The 100 accessory plus kit includes sanding drums, polishing wheel, sanding disc, cut off wheels, mandrel, a wire brush, diamond coated bits, grinding stone bits, drill bits, a spiral bit and more. To attach any collar, unscrew the collar in an anti-clockwise direction and screw on the other collar in a clockwise direction. The cut off wheel and sanding discs are used with the treaded mandrel. Slacken the screw with the end of the wrench and place the disc between the two rubber washers and retighten. To insert any bit into the tool, first press and hold the spindle lock button whilst using the wrench to slacken the collet nut. Check that the collet being used is the correct size to accommodate the shank of the bit. Once you have the correct collet in place, screw back on the collet nut, insert the bit into the collet, press and hold the spindle lock button whilst using the wrench to tighten the collet nut. The cut-off wheel can be used to cut nails and screws, plastic, Tin wood, PVC, and sheet metal. Use this tool to only cut straight lines, no curves. The sanding disc is attached using the treaded mandrel. The wire brush is for general cleaning and polishing. To connect the flex shaft, remove the collar and the collet nut. Insert the 1 8 inch collet. Holding the flex shaft, pull the inner core shaft out about 2 to 3 inches and insert it into the collet, making sure that the gold ring is pressed in firmly. Press down on the spindle lock button and tighten the collet nut with the wrench. Pull the adapter towards the treads on the tool and tighten in a clockwise direction. To attach a bit to the flex shaft, insert the allen key into the hole on the shaft and slacken the collet nut either by hand or with the wrench. 
Check to see that the collet is the correct size for the bit. Insert the bit into the collet and tighten using the wrench, all the while holding down the Allen key. Remove the Allen key once tightened. The drill bits can drill into metal, hardwood and plastics. The grinding stone can be used to sharpen knives, deburr metal, remove rust, smooth welded joints and grind off rivets. Use the dressing stone to breathe new life into your grinding stone bits. To install the sanding band, slacken the screw at the top of the drum using the end of the wrench. Slip on the sanding band and fully tighten the screw to expand the width of the sanding drum to hold the sanding band securely in place. Use the drywall cutting bit for cutting cellotex and drywall. To install the felt polishing wheel, thread the polishing accessory straight down onto the tip of the screw mandrel. You will need to acquire some polishing compound as it does not come with the kit. Use the polishing wheel to clean, polish and buff metal, wood and plastics. The diamond coated bits can engrave on wood, metal, plastics and even glass. I use these bits for sanding my glass bottle projects. There are many various type bits you can purchase that will work with the WEN rotary tool. One such bit is a diamond cutting wheel that cuts through glass and tile. Water is needed to help lubricate the wheel. I will probably have to make some sort of shield for the flex shaft to prevent the water from splashing all over. Safety first guys, when working near water, keep the motor well away from it. In closing guys, I have to say I absolutely love this tool. That's why I probably have two models. I hope you've learned at least one new use for the WEN Rotary tool. If you did, remember to give the video a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing future Rotary tool projects like this glass planter, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Well, that's all for now, folks. Take care and bye.